Greetings, Ben Murray, the SAS CFO here with a video lesson on the SAS Quick Ratio. So what is the SAS Quick Ratio? Well, this metric type is a directional bookings ratio. It measures our bookings growth versus our bookings contraction. In other words, the net inflow or outflow of ARR or MRR in our SAS businesses, which as we know, recurring revenue is critical and is the life of our SAS business. So how do we calculate the SAS quick ratio? Well, it's a pretty straightforward formula. On the top in the numerator, we are measuring our bookings inflow or our bookings growth. So that's new MRR from newly landed customers and expansion from our existing customers. In the denominator, we're measuring our bookings outflow or our bookings contraction. In this case, it's downgrades from existing customers and churn from completely lost customers. Now, if you think in, or you, if, you, if you live in the AR world, you can simply change MRR with AR in this formula. So let's take a look at an example. So we have the SAS quick ratio formula here. So let's assume we booked 150K of new AR MRR plus 225K of expansion, but we lost 75K and we lost 15k in downgrades. So in the numerator in the top here we have bookings growth to 375k and let's say this was for the latest month and we have bookings contraction of 90k. This results in a SAS quick ratio of 4.2. Well is that good or bad? So what's a good SAS quick ratio? In the green here we have greater than 4 and that's considered great. You're growing at a great rate and efficiently. In the orange in the middle here, we're growing, but it's slowly and maybe not as efficient. And less than one, you're in trouble or you'll eventually be in trouble if you sustain your business with a SAS quick ratio of less than one. So quick pro tip. In the previous slide, there were references to efficiency and you see that in articles in the internet, on the internet about efficiency with a SAS quick ratio. Well, I would say it's not really efficiency. There's nothing related to financial efficiency or payback or ROI related to this formula or to this metric. Really, it's direction of our bookings. Again, do we have net inflow of ARR or do we have contraction within our existing customer, in our customer base with new and existing customers? So again, there's a danger sign here, and the SAS quick ratio could give us a heads up if we're headed in the wrong direction. Again, beware if you have consecutive months of a less than one ratio, or if you have fast moving data, a lot of signups, a lot of transactions on a weekly basis. Maybe you'd measure this on a weekly basis to give you a little heads up if your net inflow or outflow is headed in the wrong direction. So quickly, what happens if we have a SAS quick ratio of less than one? So in this quick scenario, I'm assuming I'm starting with 1.2 million of ARR, and we're going to drive bookings growth of 240,000, but we have heavier contraction that results in a SAS quick ratio of less than one, in this case 0.6. What happens is we start the year with 100,000 of MRR, and we'll experience 10% revenue decline year over year. So by the time we get to December, 12 months later, we have little less than 90,000 of revenue on our books. So again, less than one definitely will impact your business and it should raise some red flags if you see consecutive weeks, months with a SAS quick ratio of less than one. Thank you for joining me today on the SAS Quick Ratio video lesson. If you'd like to learn more in-depth about these SAS metrics, check out the sasacademy.com.